I was spreading his air. I was like, I'm ready. He was like, you ready? I was like, yeah, I'm ready. He was like, you ready for what? I was like, I'm ready to leave my opportunity. He was like, What's up, Royal Squad? It's your girl, Kinana M, coming at you with another video. So let's get into it. Today's video is gonna be a little spicy. It's gonna be a little spicy. We about to get into it. We about to get into it. The first time I lost my virginity. So let's get into it. All right, you already know for all my story times, for all my stories, we always got to get the back. So during this time, I was 16. I had a boyfriend, I'm not gonna say his name. His name started with a D, so I'm gonna call him D. So let's, let's roll it all the way back. All the way back. Okay, so me and D, right? Before me and D even got together, like D was really, he was really wanting me, like he tried, he was trying and trying and trying. Like I was, he was trying to talk to me and like, I had broke up, I had, was going through a bad situation with my ex at the time, the ex before him at the time. Um, the same one that I, that was the same one I was talking about in the story time of when I got caught in school. Yeah, that was him. So I had broke up with him and I was already starstruck in love with like, that was my first love, like I said, in the other one. So, um, Jay, because that's what I called him in the other one. That was my first love. So then I was, I had broken up with Jay, right? So, oh, well, well, we had broke up. It wasn't due to that. It was because his parents. So that's another story. But, so me and D, D was kept trying. He tried for years and years and years. Well, not years and years, but it was like a year before me and D and actually started talking. So boom, I was like, okay. I recognized that he was a pretty nice boy. You know what I'm saying? He had a nice personality and all of that. Right, so I was like, let me give him a try. Let me give him a try, right, after I got over Jay. Me and D, I was starting to fall for him, you know what I'm saying? Starting to really fall for him, and, you know, we was in love and all that good stuff, all that good stuff. So, boom, you know, we going to school, whatever, and he was two grades uh, down from me, I believe. I know, right? But anyways, uh, so... What happened was he was two grades down for me or whatever so what happened was I was talking with my friends or whatever and you know they would talk about different things how you know they would bust it wide open and I would just be over there sitting like dang just sitting like quiet because like I just like I don't know nothing about this you know what I'm saying like I ain't never bust it wide open you know what I'm saying I'm a little V I'm a little virgin you know what I'm saying I don't know nothing about that you know what I'm saying but I'm I'm trying to go with combo, you know, acting like I'm all big and bad. Like, I'm just, just trying to go with it. I'm not saying I did, you know what I'm saying. I'm just just trying to go with it, right? Right. So, boom. I'm like, man. I'm thinking to myself, like, dang. I need to lose my virginity, man. All my friends is done lost their virginity. Or majority of my friends have lost. Sorry, y'all. I'm tired. Majority of my friends done lost their virginity. And, like... I need to lose my virginity. Like, it's time. It's time. I need to lose my virginity. Y'all, don't be like me. Don't be like me. I'm not saying that I regret losing my virginity to the person that lost it to because overall, I mean, he ain't do too, too much. I'm glad I didn't lose my virginity to my baby dad because now if I would have lost it to him, I would have been, I would have regretted that, definitely. But the thing is, I mainly... You know, as you can see, I felt kind of peer pressure, but not really in the sense like I was just trying to fit in, so to say, uh, with my friend group because I just felt like the outcast of the group. You know what I'm saying? So just imagine your friends, you know, your friends talking or whatever. They talking like, yeah, girl, me and my babe, yes, girl. Oh my gosh, you laid it down last night. You know what I'm saying? All this stuff. And I'm just over there like, 
girl, yeah, I bet, girl, yeah. All this other stuff, right? And then, you know what I'm saying? I'm just, I'm just sitting there like, in my back of my mind, I'm just like, damn, I wonder what it feels like to get laid down to. <laughs> like, I'm just like, I wonder what it feels like. But at the same time, I was scared, right? I was scared, like, I was terrified because I done heard stories of what it hurt and everything like that. Like, I had another friend. Her name started with a T. She was my best friend. You know what I'm saying? She was a white girl or whatever. She was my best friend in um, school. Her name started with a T. I don't think she would care for me to say her name. But her name, I said her name. Her name was Tiffany. She had told me, you know, because she had already lost her virginity. And I had asked her about it. And she had told me about it and everything like that. I'm not going to disclose what she said about hers because that's her personal business. And I'm not about to put her personal business out there because I ain't asked her could I put her personal business out there. But anyways, yeah, she was just telling me about it, chopping it up and stuff. And I was like, dang. I was like, shoot. I was like, girl, I want to lose my virginity. But, you know, like, I'm kind of scared. She was like, girl... She's like, it's not that bad, or, well, I, I forgot what she said. Either she said it hurt or it wasn't that bad, or, one of my friends said it felt like pins and needles, it felt like needles digging inside of them, like, when it was breaking open, I, I don't know. I don't know which one said it, I don't remember, because it was so long ago, like, I was 16, your girl is 24 now, so, I don't know. She, I was just pretty much asking about it. I remember asking her, and I remember one part graphically what she said. Um, pretty much, I'm not gonna really say it, but I'm gonna just tell y'all. I was asking my different friends, like, did they bleed? Did they not bleed? You know, I'm type of thing, stuff like that, stuff like that. But we gonna get there. We gonna get there. So boom. All right, so I'm asking, I'm asking, I'm asking. Then I just, one day I just feel like, I'm scared though. So I don't tell my boyfriend this yet, right? I'm just like plotting in my head, right? So one day I'm just like, you know what? Boom, forget this. I'm big girl. I'm grown. I'm about to be a woman today. We about to get so, it. I was like, all right, so where my little bae at, right? Oh, I forgot to even tell y'all. We next door. Like, we was right next door. Like, literally. It was a house right here. This was me. And then this was him. Like, so he was right here and I was right here. So we could just walk across, like go off the porch, go to his, the back porch. I could go to the back porch and go to his back porch or walk around and go to his front porch, right? So boom, so we would always hang out 24 seven. We live right by each other, so why not, right? So boom, all right. So I, I call up Bay, I'm like, let's go outside. You know what I'm saying? We, we talking, we chopping it up. You know, my cousin and everything. Cause during this time I was living with my cousins and the household was me. My two cousins and it was my aunt and uh you know my mama or whatever but um so yeah so we chopping it up we talking we kissing we you know just just having fun so then uh i tell him to tell like my cousins because they him and my cousins was friends they, they was friends i already knew this whatever 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 but yeah, so I told him to ask if he could stay the night, right, for with my cousins or whatever, right? And he did, he did, and obviously they said yeah. So y'all, my heart is pounding like, oh my goodness, am I gonna tell him this? Like, am I ready? Like, am I really ready? Like, am I really ready to like just give my card away? Like, it's like, oh, I'm like, oh my god, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, like. So I was like, all right, like, all right, we about, we about to get it, <laughs> we about to get it together, we gotta get it together, we gotta get it together, right? So I'm like, dang, okay, am I gonna tell him this? Am I gonna tell him? I was like, okay, okay, I'm gonna tell him, I'm gonna tell him. I'm talking to myself, like, I'm, I literally talk to myself in my mind, like, trying to get myself pumped up. Okay, we about to do this, we about to do this, right? Boom. So once I get the okay that we, he can stay in the house, like, yes, yes, yes. Like, I was literally always happy when he could stay anyway. But I was really happy this time. And nervous at the same time. And he was like, dang, you out, you overly happy today. And I was like, yeah. He was like, what's, 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 like why, you, what's, why you so happy today? Like, you usually happy. Well, why you like, you ecstatic today? And I was like, mm. I was just looking at him like, 
yeah, you know. He's like, what? I'm like, yeah, no. It's like, what? Like, I'm like, all right, let me tell you. So we go in the house, right? We in the house. My cousins, everybody in the house. Because we was all outside at first, you know, hanging out, playing, whatever, chilling, vibing. Then we went in the house because it was, like, dark. And, you know, he was staying at night anyway. So yeah, he was in the house, too. And during this time, I was, we all was in the same room. Like, we all slept in the same room during this time. Um... We had separate beds. My cousin had a bunk bed. They had bunk bed. They're two. They brothers. They had bunk bed. And I had my own bed, like, on to the side. So, all three of us was in the, Well, really, all four of us. Because he stayed the night. So, boom. So, what happened was, I whispered in his ear. I was like, I'm ready. He was like, you ready? I was like, yeah, I'm ready. He was like, you ready for what? I was like, I'm ready to lose my virginity. He was like, you for real? I was like, yeah. He was like, you serious? I'm like, yeah. He was like, you sure you ready? And I was like, yeah. So he was like, all right, all right, all right. We about to get it. We about to get it. So we ain't do it right now because everybody was up now. Like, everybody was up. They was playing the game. And I remember us trying to get them to go ahead and go to sleep. Like, hey, is y'all ready to go to sleep, man? Y'all ready to go to sleep? Man, I'm tired, man. I'm tired. Let's go. You know what I'm saying? Because he's trying to get them to go to sleep because we ain't about to. Why they up? You know what I'm saying? We ain't about to. Why they up? You know what I'm saying? So, boom. So, yeah, boom. So, now when they finally go to sleep, whatever. My, they on the bunk beds or whatever. He off the floor. We got we on the covers. We ain't even on the bed. We on the fucking floor. So, anyways. he I'm laying down like this, right? On the floor. On my back scared as hell right so we kissing he's touching all over me and all that good stuff all that good stuff you know what i'm saying the foreplay and i'm just like oh my gosh lord jesus oh my goodness oh lord this is about to hurt am i about to die am i about to die right now like am i about to die so i'm like all right so boom he was like you ready Sure. It's like, yeah, I'm sure. He's like, all right. So he's like, pull your pants down. So I pull my pants down. You know what I'm saying? And he on top of me still. We kiss and touching and all that type of stuff. And then I can't remember if he had a condom or not. I don't really think he had. I don't know. But anyway, so he he pulled it all like, you know what I'm saying? Like, and then. He like, okay, here we go. He's like, and I'm like, uh, uh, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> I'm like, wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. He was like, you good? I was like, um, mm, yeah. I was like, I don't know. It kind of felt like a pressure. It didn't feel like my friend said like knee pins and needles, but it did hurt. It did hurt. I can't say it did because it showed hurt, but it felt like a whole bunch of like pressure. Like, you know, like something is, you gotta pop your hymen. So it felt like a whole bunch of pressure, right? So boom. So yeah, I was like, okay. So he went in some more. Like, dang. Okay. So until finally he got in there, right? It was a whole bunch of, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> okay. And he went in there, right? So he all the way in there. He going, he going, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it still hurt it after a while and it started feeling good. I'm like, mm, yes, oof, yes, okay, okay, okay. But nah, it, it, it was more so pain though. I ain't gonna lie, more so pain. But I was like, I was cheesing though because I was like, yes, I can't wait to go to school, tell my friends, oh yeah. Like, your girl ain't no virgin no more. Girl ain't no virgin no more. Girl ain't no virgin no more. But yeah. And then, um, so yeah, so he did it all of that, you know what I'm saying? And we just did that one position, you know what I'm saying? That was it. That was it. That was all. And, uh, I didn't bleed or none of that because I was looking like, am I going to bleed? That was one of the things I was scared of, me bleeding. Because I know one of my friends said that they bled and it went down their leg or whatever. But I'm not going to specify who that friend was. But anyway yeah so i didn't bleed you know what i'm saying i was good after that 
And yeah, so, and then we was good in the hoodie. And I was even more attached. You know what I'm saying? I was like, attached for real. So, I was already attached, but now I was attached. But before I leave y'all, before I let y'all go, I'm going to let y'all know. If you are young, you're a teenager, preteen, watching this video, and you trying to figure out if you should lose your virginity, I would tell you to wait. Sis, wait. It is really, it's really not, like, it's really nothing. Like, I understand, like, I was that way too. And trust me, um, it's not, it's not really nothing. If I could take it back, I would, because I would do it the right way, you know, wait till I'm married. Because as you can see, not that I lost my virginity to my baby dad, but as you can see, I'm in a situation now that I'm going through all this crap. If you watch my videos, you'll see what it is with my son and, and everything. But, um, yeah, and I feel like if I never lost my virginity and waited till I was married, I would have this problem. But at the same time, I would have my son. And I definitely don't regret him. That's my baby. That's my world. That's my everything. I love him to the death of me. So, but, yeah. But that's just a word of advice. I feel like just wait. I feel like you should wait till you're married. But I understand sometimes it can be hard because your girl didn't even wait since she was married. I, I was celibate for a while. You know what I'm saying? I did the celibacy, celibacy thing as well. But um, I'm not really celibate currently though. I'm not going to lie. But anyway, yeah. And I say if if you don't want to wait till marriage or if you can't wait till marriage, I feel like you should really, really wait until you are like until you know like you're with the person i know you can think you love somebody but you really don't you should wait till you're kind of older where you're smarter mature and you can really make better decisions for yourself but yeah this video is already long enough as it is and i'm gonna just let y'all go don't forget to like this video don't forget to smack that subscribe button you know what i'm saying comment down below let me know more uh video ideas that you would like to see and uh yeah stay blessed and impressed i love y'all bye